Hey guys, uh, just wanted to do a video on my 1967 M35A2 Kaiser Jeep Deuce and a Half. Um, it has an 83 white engine in it. It is a multi-fuel. It will run off of just about anything that burns. Probably even greasy ditch water. Um, has a 10,000 pound garbwood winch. Switzer turbo. And uh, it does not have a bed at this time. It has the heater. You can see the vent there for it. I do have a little jerry can there, a plastic one, so it can still be used, unlike the metal ones. The metal ones are not allowed to be used anymore, uh, at least where I'm at, because they can easily be punctured. I don't know what the difference between plastic and metal is being punctured, but whatever. Um, I have a little bit of a cracked windshield. It doesn't bother me too much. It drives some people absolutely up the wall. I also have a cracked mirror. Don't really need to use the rear view mirrors. You can see everything you want. Got the little bubble bug eye mirrors there too. Um, jerry can's empty right now. I actually used a strap off of a M1 Grand Sling to tie it in there. Works pretty well. Doesn't go anywhere. I've hit some serious bumps. Um, spare tire is good. It just needs a new valve. Uh, I sealed it off with some gasket stuff for right now, but I'll replace it eventually. Uh, back here are the air tanks, right here. I plan on getting a second set of air tanks, mounting them right on the next side there. Um, and I'm going to put a valve between them so that I can turn them on or off. So if I'm just driving the truck, I can use this. But if I want to use my air tools, I can pressurize that second set. Uh, get a little longevity out of the use. You can see the cab springs up the back. Got a pirate flag. Got to have a pirate flag, right? The uh, Martin Guitars symbol there. Um, it is a hard top as you can see. came like that. Kind of excited. It's lightly insulated and I do mean lightly. It was used as a well truck which is why it's a funky blue-gray color. Not super fond of it. You lose it really well in a parking lot. I'll tell you what, it just disappears. I take it to work because it's my daily driver. Call me crazy, right? Really doesn't get much different mileage than that over there. But uh... <laughs> It is what it is. Um, as you can see, I have all the original NDT tires on it. Some of them are a little dry rotted, but they're tubed, so if they fall off, I can always put another tube in another tire. Not really a big deal. You can get them about $75, or if you're lucky, you can get them at a government auction for eight for a couple hundred. Um, like I said, it was used as a weld drilling truck, so there's some retrofit crap on it. You can see somebody welded a bunch of metal on here for no reason whatsoever. I do plan on putting a bed on it and doing a full restoration. Uh, lights. I gotta do some replacing of bulbs because some of them are burnt. Not working too great. 50 gallon gas tank running diesel in it right now. I have run vegetable oil and some used motor oil. I plan on doing that again once I get my fuel system cleared out because I do have to uh, prop open the uh, hand throttle a little bit to keep her running at the lights. I think I just have to adjust the uh, throttle cable. If anybody knows about that let me know. Uh, J-pipe. Repainted the uh, heat shield. I'm probably going to go back to OD Green like that. The mushroom. Uh, pull that off. Show you what I did here. Um, online you can get the uh, filters in there for uh, surplus usually runs around sixty sixty five dollars. Sometimes you can find them around forty. Well, I don't like paying full price for anything. Ever. I only paid four thousand for the truck. I think I got it at steel because when I got it, it started right up with no problems. But I think because I didn't have the money to fill the gas tank with fresh diesel, running the nasty whatever was in the tank, I have no idea. Running whatever it was through there, I think clogged up the fuel system a little bit. I changed out all the filters. Runs good. It doesn't stall out or anything unless, of course, I take the vice grips off the... Um, 
off the hand throttle. But uh, they seem to work pretty well for right now. I did turn the fuel up in attempt to get it to start on its own, but it didn't like that too much, so it just gets it going. Uh, like I said, I replaced these. Sorry, a little sidetrack there. Um, I replaced my air filters from Napa. It cost me about $24. They're 12 bucks a piece. I got two of them, stacked them on top of each other, and it fit perfectly. I don't remember the numbers off the top of my head. I might find them later in the video. Um, I do have a Switzer Turbo, the Whistler, that's right, the famed Whistler, she whistles nice. Um, it is, like I said, it is a white multi-fuel, there's the tag there, it was manufactured in 1983, so it is not the original motor to the truck, the truck is a 1967, uh, close that up, put the mushroom back on, oh, also, these lights, not sure if they're aftermarket or not. Not sure if it's a legal thing or what, but I don't know if I like them. They're kind of flimsy. You know, tree bands like that. No good. This thing's just like bobbling in there. I know these are the original turn signals. I don't know if these are original or if they're an aftermarket deal. Um, I have a burnout headlight. Like I said, I need to replace some bulbs. It's all right. Not that big of a deal. It's bright enough to see. I haven't gotten pulled over yet. Some small rust issues, nothing too bad. A little body filler, some sandpaper. Life will be good. The uh, Garwood winch, all the original tags. You can see they used to be yellow or red or something like that. Who knows? Uh, this is the clutch handle for the winch. That's in, that's out. The latch is seized up. The winch does work. I've had it work. Uh, that's your lock for the drum that's on so that the drum does not swivel. Um, it is a power takeoff winch. It works with the motor. Uh, pretty much a brand new chain and a brand new cable. It needs to be rewound. Uh, probably going to have a little winch winding party. I got the uh, roller guides on there. I don't know how well they're going to work or not, but we'll see. Um, NDT tires all the way around. These ones are the newest the front tires are. AC works great. You know, as best as a deuce AC can work. I'll go inside now. Alright, from the driver's seat, show you what I was talking about. I had to prop the, uh, throttle open with a pair of ice grips. It works. It idles right around a thousand RPM. Probably just have to tighten up the throttle cables. Um, not a big deal. I just haven't gotten to it. I have replaced all the filters. The oil filter. I have done an oil change on it. Drained it out. The diesel is no longer green in the tank. It is that lovely clearish, bluish diesel color. Um, gauge cluster. Everything with exception of the fuel gauge works. For some reason I always have a full tank, even when I'm running out of gas. Um, I do have the tanks pressurized, that's why you didn't hear the buzzer. Uh, I had it running a little bit earlier, I was doing some work on it, so I had air in the tanks. Like I said, the AC works great. <laughs> as long as you're moving. It's a little warm sometimes. It's uh, lightly insulated. There's a little foam layer under the pegboard looking stuff. Uh, my dome light is one of these little work lights from Napa. Works great. I installed an aftermarket rear view. You can see right out the back with that. Not a problem. Uh, if you turn around, there is no bed on it. Like I said, uh, not really bothering me right now, but I do plan on fixing that. I'm going to get a, either original bed or build a wooden stake body type of thing. The visibility is like fantastic. You can see everything out this way, including the car sitting right next to you. That car is five feet from me, and I can see it in that mirror. See? The car. Uh, cracked mirror. Not worried about it. Um, I usually use the bubble mirrors, actually, because that shows me more. Or the rear view, which shows me if the cops are trying to pull me over. Haven't had that happen yet. I don't know if it's because I'm driving a deuce and a half, and it doesn't go more than 45. Or... 
if they just like the truck and don't want to bother me. Um, all the original data plates, it is a Kaiser Jeep. Uh, there it is. <laughs> uh, servicing data. Idle engine five minutes before stopping. After starting, engine run at less than 1,000 RPMs for five minutes to prevent damage to the turbocharger. Do it. You don't want to uh, kill your turbo. That would suck. Uh, all your air controls. Oh, yeah. Another little redneck invention. I don't have a throttle spring, so there's a bungee cord. It works. Uh, throttle spring, don't know if it broke, fell out, what happened, but it ceased to exist. Uh, everything else works fine. Turn signals work great. Lights, you know, all that stuff. Uh, I do need to put some lights in the gauge cluster. It's a little hard to see at night. I got a little clicky light down there by my Q-beam. I got the Q-beam in here in case I need it. Um, you know, might get stuck and have to work on the truck on the highway or something. Don't do too much driving with it, but it is my daily driver. Um, horn does not work. If you know how to fix the horn, let me know. I might have to order a horn button kit. I don't know if it's a ground or what. Um, I did install some aftermarket cup holders. You get them for four for a dollar at Walmart. If you slam them in the door, they shatter. I'm not too worried about it because I could just replace them. Loosen up the little set screws, put a new one in there, not a problem. Uh, original shift knob, got to have hearing protection. It is loud right now. I am thinking about putting a muffler on it. Some may call it sacrilege. I call it I don't want to go deaf. Uh, like I said, you have to spray it to start it. And uh, that's how it runs. So, it is what it is. Uh, oh, while I was in the glove box, that made me think. Insurance sucks. Uh, I originally went with GEICO. GEICO said, yeah, sure, we'll insure your deuce and a half for, you know, $80, $90 a month, something like that. Like, alright, that's a little high. Whatever. Well, a week later, I get a uh, letter in the mail from GEICO saying, uh, yeah, we don't insure deuce and a halfs. They're a commercial grade vehicle. Great, so put me through to your commercial company. Tell me uh, what I got to do to get insurance, because I like my dues and a half. Well, I installed a fire extinguisher also. Got a knife hanging behind the seat. It's a shuffle over there. Um, I'm going to go around the other side now. Anyway, um, Geico quoted me $250 with a $240 a month fee for insurance. That adds up to about... $2,400 a year. Not a fan of it. Um, so, I said no. And they were canceling my policy as of September 14th. Or 13th, something like that. 17th, I don't know. Anyway, um, they were going to cancel my policy. And... I went with uh, State Farm. I called State Farm up and I told them, I said, look, you need to talk to your underwriter, see if this can happen so that uh, I don't end up in this situation again because I'm tired of shopping for insurance. She said, okay. So she called her underwriter. Underwriter said, yeah, write it. Now I'm paying $82 a month, full insurance, and uh, I don't have to chop a wheel off to make it cheaper. Um... I am going to put the uh, put the bed on it, which is going to add about 2,000 pounds. Um, all that stuff. Anyway, good news is I uh, don't have to pay out the ass for insurance. It does have the spring seats. You can see the spring, the quote-unquote adjustment, which never works, apparently, from what I understand. This here is the way you jump your deuce and a half. Positive, negative, directly to the battery. It goes right down to the battery box. And these never like to close very easily, so... Oh my god, y'all just witnessed the craziest thing. It went in right away. It never happens. I am going to go OD green, the original OD green, just like the dash. 
It's not that shiny Vietnam era. It's post-Vietnam, so it is flat. It's not a sweaty deuce. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I do want to get a second set of tanks so I can run power tools more efficiently. Um, gas tank, I replaced the fuel filter. Or fuel pump, I'm sorry. Um, I also replaced the bolts that go on here with hex heads. They look a little cooler. I coated it with a seal so nothing leaks there. Um, it works pretty well. Uh, the new pump is actually an aviation grade diesel pump. I know planes don't run off of diesel, but the pump I had in there was the original N35A2 pump. It was shot. It was blowing the fuse every time I put the uh, pump on. And like there were some fuses that actually blew open. So I replaced it with this aviation grade one. It's all pretty. It's got a red top on it and it looks all sci-fi-ish. It's a high volume pump. It works better than the pump that was in it. Because the pump did work when I got it and then it decided not to. Um, I'll show you the battery box. The metal battery box is actually rusted out, this one here. But I have a plastic one in there. came with it. It's got two big old batteries in there because it is a 24 volt system. Um, I intend on replacing that with the plastic battery box. It latches in. I think that would be kind of cool. You know, some small rust spots. All the cranks and windows go up and down. So, uh, yeah. M35A2, 1967 Kaiser Jeep. Deuce and a half. Uh, any questions, comments, anything you want to give me would be cool. Or sell me for cheap. Uh, make her better. Let me know.